Welcome to the band guide. I'm your band guy, Colin. And today I just have a quick tip for you on how to change out the individual drums in your GarageBand drummer to get the exact right drum sound for your song. Let's go and dive into GarageBand. So I've set up a drummer track here. And this is what you're always gonna start out with. You're gonna start out with a SoCal drum kit being played by Kyle. So I'm gonna hit Y and bring up this menu here. Now, if you wanna change a drum sound, there's a lot of way. Let's say you like this part, but you just want a different drum sound. Uh, this Brooklyn kit we all know is my go-to. But if you like the Detroit kit, the East Bay kit, each one changes out every element, changes out how it's processed, changes out everything about the sound. So let's say you like uh, the Brooklyn kit as a whole, which you should, because it's the best sounding kit in here. Let's say you like this kit. But for some reason that kick drum just isn't working for your song. Let's just change out just that kick drum. So there's no way to do it on this track. We have to kind of work around that. So we're gonna start by duplicating this track. And we're gonna take this part, we're gonna copy it and paste it down on this track. And we're gonna retitle this so we know what it is. This is gonna be our kick track. Now on this channel, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the kick drum. So you have everything but the kick drum. And on this track, we're gonna decide which kick drum we want. So let's listen to it through a few different and just decide what kick drum sound we like. Like that, that has a little more click to it. I like that, but that's pretty stylized. Let's go with this East Bay. So we're gonna just turn off everything except the kick drum on this channel. And then bam, we've changed out that kick drum. So now our Brooklyn kit has the East Bay kick drum. Awesome. Now let's say we also wanna change out that snare drum. Let's just say the snare drum isn't working out in our song. Let's duplicate this chain all again. We're gonna title this one snare. And we're gonna copy and paste this part down to this track. So listening to just this channel here, right now it's just the kick drum. Let's change out, let's try a couple different kits and see what snare sound we like. I like this. This uh, snare has kind of a thuddiness to it and it also has a crispy top end. So let's turn off everything but that snare. And turn up that signal so it's a little bit hotter. And let's listen to it with the kit. Let's turn off this snare because right now we're getting both snares. Sounds great. So now we have a Brooklyn kit with a East Bay kick drum and the snare drum from the Retro Rock kit. Sounds awesome. Totally different, but still has the same vibe. And do all this in the context of your mix. So as you're working on your song or as you're recording your song and you realize, man, I like this, but that snare drum just isn't working out, change out just that individual snare drum and see if you can find one you like better. If you want help making your GarageBand drums sound more real, I have a free guide in the description for this video. It just walks you through six steps to make your GarageBand drums sound more real. It's completely free. It's in the description for this video, so go download that. And if this video helped you out, be sure to subscribe. I'm back every week with new tips to help you get the most out of the music that you're making. We'll see you in another video soon.